Oh YouTube fans, excuse me where I put a bit of light on, as you see it's fucking dark and miserable as per usual. That's better, don't mean to give everybody a nasty fright. Now I can get somewhere and we get a bit of light. And today's mover, I'll say the night as it's dark, is Dark Angel. From Nighty Nighter, what can I say? The mover, Dark Angel, came out in Nighty Nighter with one of my favourite acts and stars, that being Dolph London. And again, as I keep saying the same fucking thing, why, 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 why? Why the fuck is this not on DVD in this fucking cunter? It's a damn good action film. And you could say it's a damn good Christmassy film. People are going to think, Pete, what do you mean it's a Christmassy film? It's a Christmassy film. Because it comes to the day in the Timbo. I might even add it on the Timbo time as well. Because at the end of the day, it starts off with a die. Has a really shitty day. And he's driving home from work. Lump of old, his CD brakes and his car chassis across the road. He sees a UFO and a guy comes out of nowhere. And what does he say? I come in peace. And that's when the mu mover, shall I say music? Mover starts up. Dark Angel had two different title names, like most of my movies I review. One, as we know, was Dark Angel, and in America, it was called I Come In Peace. Whatever title you want to call it, I still think the film, in two titles, is a damn good film. The actor, who played the alien, who looked like us, sad to say is no longer with us. He was known to do his own stunts as well as star in a lot of action films. One of them being No Sisty, No Revengeance, No Sisty Part 2. And sad to say, he was doing an action scene, doing a stunt, accidentally went wrong, and sad to say, he lost his life. May he rest in peace. But he was awesome as the alien, evil and dark. And if this alien come in peace, I'd fucking hate to see whatever happened if there was one what wasn't. He starts off killing people, so it's a bit like a serial killer. Interesting way he kills people is he rams something in the heart, dopes them up, stab, stab something in the head. And he basically sucks out the brain and makes it into liquid. Now we get to Dolph London, who is looking for this evil alien. At first, it's Doug Dealers. Sadly, his partner, who's undercover, gets found out and gets killed. He then gets another partner. Now, the other partner, at first, becomes a bit of a dick. In typical, I want to buy it by the book. But as the film goes on, you get to like him. And I think even Dove London gets to like him. <laughs> I do love to see where he says, that's one. That's two. That's three. What happens when we get to four? <laughs> uh, how I love those days of films. And let's not forget, you also get another alien. But this one does come in peace. As the film goes on, as I say, they do become mates. And eventually they realise that this Doug dealer is an alien from outer space. Dove London does have a dirt end. And they get tapped with this evil alien. They do manage to outsmart it. And I don't really want to ruin the ending. But Dark Angel, or I come in peace, whichever title you want to call it. It's a fucking dud one. And apart from looking like fucking Sardos with my head bobbing up and down, it's not a bad one for what it is. It's science fiction and it does have a lot of awesome deaths where the alien is sucking out the brain and ramming a jug over jolts into people. 
And I do love the scene at the end when Dolph Lundgren says, You go in pieces, asshole. That's fine, it. I do love the weapons and all. The weapon looks like a CD, which kind of reminds me of Predator 2, but can slit your throat. I also like the dumb, what shoots out fire. To me, that is fucking awesome. And in all fairness, they don't make films like this anymore. And in also, to be fairness, it's a fucking tad to tear. You know what else I think is sad? Why is it you get Stephen Seagal? Now, I might get eight for this, but I can't stand Stephen Seagal. One, he's fat. None of the tense people who are overweight. I've put a bit of a belly myself, as I'm trying to get a six pack. And two, he's a fucking woman beater. Why, 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 why do you get all these shits on DVD? But you barely see a lot of Dolph London films. And that's not the only one. You barely see any of fucking Chuck Norris on DVD or Blu-ray. Any of these fucking films. But in my eyes, I think that Dolph London should have some of these films on DVDs. Now, granted, I'm a He-Man fan. But I'm more of a lover of the Tartoon. But I do respect Masters of the Universe, and I don't think Dolph London in that was the problem. I think that Tannen, trying to cheap state things, was more of the problem. But I do think Masters of the Universe is a good film. I would have loved to have seen she the movie, and it would have been made. And you very rarely see a lot of Dolph London films, which is fucking criminal. But other than that, I do like Dark Angel. I think it's an unestimated action film. And for that, I'd give it a 9 star rating. Because it's a hell of a lot better than some of the shit you see nowadays. And it's a damn shame they don't make films like that anymore. Other than that, see you later.